Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to this Net at Work quick tip video. Today we're going to be covering how to add attributes to a screen um, and in this case we're using the bills and adjustments. So the benefit of going uh, and adding a user defined field this way is this requires no programming or publishing or customizing in Acumatica. This is just using the internal uh, already predefined uh, tools and this is super simple if you wanted to train a customer or wanted them to, they wanted to add something on the spot and didn't want to have to tweak with anything. So to do this we're going to go into our bills and adjustments screen that we want to change. We're going to head over to customization and hit manage user defined fields. Here uh, we have two options. We have the option to add a user defined field or um, that's using an attribute that's already in the system or we can actually create one. So we're going to hit manage attributes and it's going to display the normal attribute screen and here we're just going to create a uh, test attribute so the first one we're going to do is additional info so we're going to do ADD info there can be no spaces as normal IDs go and then for the description we're going to type it out and this is what the user would actually see not the ADD info that's just what the system calls below you'll see we have a control type which gives us a couple different options. The first option you'll see there's a text which is the normal typing. Combo which is uh, various options that you predefine that they can select on. Multi-select box which is the same thing but they can select multiple options that you present uh, with that drop down menu. Check box which is a normal check and uncheck and a date time which allows us to uh, prompts us with a window to choose your date. For this we're going to hit text, we're going to hit save, we're going to create a uh, an additional one so we're going to name it ADD info 2 additional info 2 and we're going to select the multi uh, select box combo box. Here we're going to hit plus because we need to now choose the predefined options that the user will be presented with. We're going to type in test 1 test 1 and tab test 2 test 2 hit save now we have everything all set up we can now close this and I wanted to point out uh, if you had questions about uh, or wanted some literature about what those options are go ahead and hit the question you'll see it'll present you with the attributes here it's really great you can go through and it has a little brief description here and attribute types of the different options uh, that we just discussed and what they're used for. Here we're now actually going to add those attributes that we created using this button here and you'll see that we're presented with three things. The first thing is choosing the attribute which we got uh, by clicking this going to ADD info. Then the next is the column in a row and just think of this as an Excel spreadsheet column one row three uh, defaults should be one one go ahead and hit OK. Um, and that's just a bug, don't worry. Um, I think it's because uh, I, I was playing around with this earlier. So we're going to hit again, add user defined field, and we're going to add the second field. We're going to do uh, row two because we want it underneath it. And it says it's already occupied. No worries, we'll just do three. It could be because I was playing around with it. And that's because this is already two. But let's just point out a good uh, op a good issue or uh, observation that happens which is if something is already covering it you won't replace that actual field so if you wanted to replace uh, this additional information with additional info too you can't just take this spot and it'll move it up you need to uh, basically hold a different uh, part of the columns or the row so for this if we wanted to move this over we're going to actually change this over to one and then put this to and you'll see it moves over and it keeps the spacing um, and the rows so it's much very much like Excel you can move it around it's not drag and drop but you can edit that that way um, from here uh, to save all your changes and I'm gonna leave it like this so you can kinda see how it looks when things are a little different than they normally would be than one two and three we're gonna hit the back button and this would actually save those changes and prompt us with that new user defined field here you can see we um, it automatically moved it to the top 
And that's why I left it like that because even on that screen it shows one thing but it does something different. And this is just when you're customizing it, just know this for the future, that make sure everything's in the top row, otherwise it'll move everything up. And then from here we can test out our new fields. You can see this is the combo box, the additional info too. And we have the two options to select here. And you can kind of see how it lets you select multiple ones if you have a ton. You can select as many as you want. It's really great if you wanted to make something just point and click, not typing. And then the additional info, you can type this as a test and type whatever you want. And it pre uh, will prompt and stay there. Now, if we hit save, I'm sure people are uh, questioning this. If you go back over to payables, and then click on it again. You'll see it's right there where you left it. It saves right to the bill, and um, you can catch. Uh, you can uh, go back and reference that on any bill uh, that you save that to. So, if we were to go back and click on a different one, you'll see that those option, those boxes will be there, but with no information because we need to fill that in. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Please subscribe or reach out to me in the email.